we started out with just 500 pounds worth of fruit. That was literally our first days of trading. We bought 500 pounds worth of fruit, we turned it into smoothies and started selling them from a market stall. And it gave us the confidence to give up our jobs and do it full time. And after a lot of hard work and a few right decisions and a lot of luck, 15 years later, we built a business that was turning over north of 200 million pounds and was in sale in 15 countries across Europe. And we exited the business selling it to Coca-Cola last year in a deal that valued it at half, over half a billion dollars. So um, for three guys, one from Huddersfield, New Yorkshire, to go from 500, to 500 pounds to over 500 million dollars was, was something that way, way, way exceeded all expectations. And I think within that, a central truth that we were an outlier, that uh, things went much better than we ever could have imagined or, or, or dreamt. Uh, there were several drivers of why that, that, that success happened. And I believe a principal one of those was because of the ethical stance that the business had and the drive for doing good that was built into the, the DNA of innocence. And I just wanted to talk a bit about that today, about the sort of how I think Pursuing not just money, but money and other social benefits is a brilliant approach to investment and success and wealth creation in the 21st century. And uh, I, with my, I myself try, to, as best I can, to sort of live and invest by these principles. So the money that I've got out of Innocent, I now allocate uh, a material part to investing in new entrepreneurs that are coming through with ideas that have both financial but also social uh, benefits.